Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, where you happen to tune in. This is TopNetworkersGroup.com. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in. Um, just a real quick glance at the markets today. We're talking crypto on this uh, video here, as you can see. Pretty excited about the cryptocurrency uh, space, you guys. And as always, for those of you that watch videos like these, especially mine, this is not going to be any financial advice. I'm, I'm not telling you what you should do with your money. Um, however, um, for those who are keeping track, who are um, paying attention, there's a lot of money being made within this space. Um, and for our top networkers group audience, most of you, again, um, are primarily MLM network marketing, affiliate marketing related. Um, and so the only advice I will give you is stay out of BitConnect. It's probably a scam. Um, and as uh, mounting pressures continue to uh, come at that opportunity, eventually um, the much expected exit scam will unfold. Um, you know, that's where most people see it going. And so hopefully, you know, again, if you have gotten in there, you've made a little interest, go ahead and take your profit and get on out. Try to disassociate yourself. That's the only advice we will give you. Outside of that, the other advice that we keep telling you and, uh, you know, hope that you guys will pay attention to it is that you will want to put that money directly into the markets. You know, a lot of people who I listen to will tell you put it directly into Bitcoin. Bit Bitcoin is having an awesome... Um, come back for, for those who've been following the last couple of days you know I'm not gonna re rehash with most of the experts in this field have been telling all of us who are still learning who are still coming along and and, and, and that is about this uh, supposed war between Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash and people who are moving to try to make Bitcoin cash Bitcoin you know make this the more accepted cryptocurrency that people are using um, and li listen this just tells me that this entire space is coming alive really and truly I mean it's been a fantastic week um, just look, look looking here at these these nut, nut numbers here on the market Litecoin is up to $63 um, but look at dash guys 429 right now um, dash is currently uh, operating at a all-time high right now that's fantastic I actually feel bad that I don't have more dash so look look you guys um, there's a lot of opportunity for you to put your money in places where it's going to grow Neo at one time was forty dollars I, I think they're still getting their platform to to together people continue to call it um, China's Ethereum so you know there's a lot of exciting stuff going on here with just this project alone um, one of the things that I was doing uh, just before I decided to hit this record button is I was taking a look here at the uh, coins that are performing very well. I'm pretty upset about Z coin because I don't have any. And um, I've been watching Z coin since it was around $8. And as you guys can see, it's around $23 right now. That's pretty awesome. And look at EOS, you guys. EOS is finally starting to do something, it looks like. Um, again, another one I'm pretty. Uh, you know, mad about because it dropped down and it was pretty affordable. It's still pretty affordable now. I still might get get some. Um, we'll see. But again, there is so much opportunity as you guys can see um, within the crypto space. You know, this one here, for example, Power Ledger. I've never heard of it. I was checking it out. Uh, their uh, website here um, has a bunch of information that you can and should look 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 into. You know, always read the white paper. Again, this is something that all legit cryptocurrency sites have a white paper. Um, and so if you can't find a white paper, you may not want to invest in it. Again, it's your money. So it's ultimately going to be your decision on if that's something that you want to uh, do. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is actually a PDF too, too, too as well. Uh, let's show you guys that. They got a bunch of information on their website. Ah, and as you guys can see, this one here was uh, seemingly presented. This is like a uh, PowerPoint. It was presented at the Blockchain Summit, 
which was held on Richard Branson's Necker Island. For those of you who, again, have been following this, the uh, space, you know, I was just checking it out, you guys. I may or may not grab a little bit of this. It looks like it's going up. It's having a pretty nice uh, day. Um, let's go back to the charts on the, this one. So it looks like just a week ago, um, it was trading around, <clears throat> right around here, you guys. All of a sudden, this nice, nice little spark in the movement here. Yeah, about three cents uh, earlier in the month. So it's about uh, went from about sixteen cents to about twenty-five cents, about ten cents uh, over the past 10, 10 days. And just to kind of show you guys some stuff I like to do, it looks like yeah. Well, I wonder if this is like a brand new, uh, new. Uh, might be a brand new new coin here you know again I'm learning about this with you all live here so yeah looks like looks like that was the all time you know this, this one looks like it just came out so power ledger huh pretty interesting stuff going on folks yeah check this PDF out here let's finish this room energy trilemma Looks like they're looking to solve a problem with energy security, generation, transmission, retail. Yeah, yeah. Looks like they're dealing with energy here, you guys. The power ledger platform. Hmm. Hmm. So you guys, I get excited about what's happening within, within the blockchain and, and within this whole entire space, you guys. There's so much innovation happening and people are looking at ways to take what's already operating now and improve it um, with the blockchain. Okay. And as I tell people, in a way, we're sort of investing in, in companies and um, that's how I look at so much of this stuff, you guys. Wow, very interesting stuff here. And I'm just browsing through it. Decentralization of power. Wow, pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. Let's take a little roadmap here. Oh wow, they're aiming to have a blockchain electric vehicle trading platform. What is going on there, you guys? That's exciting. Hmm. Let's have something to do with this here. Yeah, I probably had to have heard uh, this presentation live to fully understand these slides, but those are pretty interesting slides here, you guys. How do power ledger tokens work? Power and Sparks are two tokens of the power ledger ecosystem. So apparently there's another coin called Sparks. Very interesting. Power tokens. So yeah, I'm looking at power tokens now. Let's check out Sparks really quickly here. sparks right now off the exchange maybe it's not listed or maybe it's sort of like gas where uh, uh, no gas is trading I think people can actually buy gas yeah you can actually buy gas so it's not like gas for those who don't uh, understand what gas is um, gas sort of operates uh, with NEO and for those of us who have NEO or holding NEO in a neon wallet or certain types of wallets uh, you can actually claim gas uh, for free which is something that several holders of neo um, are doing so i was just sort of curious there as i was reading up on this power thing they've got another coin and this is common as well um, where companies have like several coins that work together um so it looks like that's sort of what they have going on here with the Sparks. So Sparks are created on escrow. 
of power tokens and are destroyed on redemption of power tokens. Okay, so yeah, it sort of does sound like, uh, but it just doesn't seem like sparks are where you can buy them off of exchanges yet, but it looks like power is available on exchange. And so just, uh, again, just sort of glancing through here because, you know, I'm brand new to this as well in terms of this specific coin. Um, and I just wanted to take a look at it because I saw it trending and doing so well today. And this is something that, you know, again, um, I've learned from a lot of experts and stuff that they do. I'm just sharing it with you guys here on Top Network and Group Channel. Um, if there's something that uh, you're interested in in terms of, of the uh, crypto space, you want to, again, study and look into what you're possibly looking at investing in. I like some things I'm seeing here. I like that uh, they have an innovative idea here that this token isn't just, you know, just money moving around. They're actually trying to fund something. And it looks like, um, you know, they're working with Branson, who's one of my mentors in business in terms of a thinker. I just love how Branson thinks. And, um, you know, this is interesting, you guys. That's very interesting. It looks like a brand new coin, too, as well. So I'm going to look more into this power ledger. I'm going to see what, what information I can find on it. And again, I'm just sharing this information with, with, with you guys. Um, this type of stuff that you should be doing in terms of before you put your money into anything, always look into it first. Um, take time. Don't just jump into it because somebody said to, you know, because, you know, you can be led astray. You know, again, if I invest in this and, you know, I I've nat naturally would want something like this to do well um, because, um, you know, of course, if I'm invested in it, I want other people um, to put their money into it, too. A and so it's it's one of those human nature things where a, a person just may pump up a coin or pump up some information because they're in it. And we don't want to do that here at Top Networkers Group. For those that work with us, for business partners of mine, we don't recommend that, okay? And, um, you know, because we want to make sure that you are making educated decisions on your own. You know, again, you can read, you can think. So, um, you know, just make sure to apply yourself in that area. So here, so here, here go a few more that were trending. That I was just ch checking out briefly um, just to sort of see uh, what else is out here so again this is my first time checking out this website here I don't know anything about the rated network technology for the blockchain it looks like use cases retail payments P2P cash micro payments of course regular old payments Instant token swaps. Not really sure what's going on there. Now, this could be what's another the pump and dump where sometimes a coin starts doing really well. It's up 29% today. And it could simply be because uh, people are investing money, pumping it up, and are dumping, uh, which could explain why it dipped a little bit once it got to about 220. Let's see what's going on with this movement, you guys. Again, looks like another all time. Looks like a brand new one as well that may have launched here on the 9th from just looking at the market cap. I don't know what's going on there with that. That's crazy. That's crazy, guys. So, so from around 91 cents up to just over $2. Interesting coin. Again, not too, uh, you know, grabbing to where I would really want to invest in a coin at $2. Um, here, here's an interesting price, though, on this one. Look at that. It's not even a cent yet. That's always awesome. Let's check out Tron. Tron's one of my favorite films. So hopefully it lives up to it. Uh-oh. Can't read that. Let's see what's happening here. So naturally what we can tell already is that this is... Uh, Possibly based somewhere overseas. Worldwide free content entertainment system with the blockchain. Interesting. Okay. I'm not downloading anything right now. Check the stuff out. Again, they have a white paper. Interesting. 
and stuff. So yeah, I may come back and look at that a little bit further as well. Um, right now, I really like that power though, you guys. Um, just just off of a glance, of course. And uh, you know, again, as I was telling you, Z Coin is a quality one that I've looked into for a while. Um, I don't know about open trading. This looks interesting again, up 31%. Just just look look at that chart too. It looks like it's been performing well, which is something that I also look look at. I try to um, see coins that are gradually rising in value um, it's generally a good sign uh, this one here is going at fifty two dollars pretty interesting pretty interesting um, it looks like uh, again it looks like another newish type of coin here that's October Seven day chart. There we go. Yeah, I just you know, I just want to make sure I'm not that my eyes aren't fooling me there. Okay. So let's see here. We've gone from about oh, about ten bucks in a couple of days. Interesting. Yeah. So keep an eye on that one. There, Open Trading Network. Know what that's about, but that sounds super interesting. Look and look, look the website, you guys, is pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Off uh, top again, white paper roadmap. Ah, yeah, let you know what's going on. Looks like they plan to have a wallet out in February. Looks like again, yeah, they just dropped it on the world in October. Pretty interesting, yeah. Multi an exchange, are they gonna have their own exchange? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Nice website. Russian office. I guess they're based out of Russia, possibly. You can have a red and white paper. Fifty two dollars, you guys. Out the gate. Interesting. Are they gonna have an app too? It looks like. It's might be a universal tokenization wallet that it looks like I was looking at. All assets in one place. A single multi-currency wallet to store and exchange your assets easily and instantly. And you know, this is the type of stuff that the space needs. We need somebody to come up with one wallet for all our stuff. Or at least some way that we can keep it in a safe and secure location. Um, you know, even if we can access it from multiple places. But again, um, we can have our private keys and our ways to keep it safe from everyone else. Um, this is this is truly what's needed. So this is interesting as well. I'm gonna keep an eye on that open trading uh, network OTN. Very interesting stuff, you guys. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna look at a couple more of these coins. Um, this is sort of the stuff that I've been doing here for the past uh, year. Um, to be totally honest with with you all, um, I got into crypto in December of 2016. It's been an awesome time, you guys. Um, I can only really recommend that you um, be smart with your money, be smart with your investments. Don't look for the quick buck. Look for the sure buck. Thanks again, as always. We'll see you at the top. Top Networkers Group.